So what you're about to hear are five stories about science. These are true personal stories about something that happened in someone's life. Once upon a time, when dinosaurs roamed the earth and a helmet-headed witch in a blue suit ruled these aisles. My pursuit of science ended up taking me to the end of the world, somewhere I never even heard of. And I thought this is probably going to be the most important story I ever say. This is a entertainment zone, not a learning zone. We live in a world that is profoundly influenced by science. It's all around us. If you're a curious human being and you want a great job, and you don't mind getting shot at, journalism's the thing for you. If you want a really great job and you'd rather not get shot at, science, particularly epidemiology, is a pretty good thing for you. My grandfather was a biophysicist and my father, on the other side, a uh, geologist. So science comes up a lot. Strike Lighter is a live event and podcast where we have people tell true personal stories about the effect of science in their life. On Christmas Eve in 1986, I was sat on top of an active nuclear reactor inside a nuclear submarine holding a paintbrush. It's not just about getting the heads of labs to tell their work. We have people on our stage who have no formal science anything, but something has happened to them that's important and we need to hear those stories too. And then suddenly, bam, the road disappeared. I graduated from university with an incredibly useful degree in classical Chinese. I really wanted to, to back out. I was vaguely terrified of being by myself in this utterly strange place that I'd never heard of for, for such a long time. I was obsessed with two things, comics and television. A couple of people told me that one, one thing they liked is every story was very different. This is where planes land in the dark, full of militia with guns from Somalia. Science is actually very creative, it's very imaginative, and, and it's quite a social activity, in fact. So for the last six months on this tropical island, I had more of a tropical desk. I look outside and think, oh, look at the, the palm trees and, and the blue sea. Occasionally a humpback whale would jump. And I think, oh, well, I better get back to this spreadsheet. <laughs> what I really love about Story Collider is that it makes scientists stand up on the stage and not tell people about what they do, but actually show them a little bit about who they are. And it's that personal connection that will really change the stereotypes around scientists and what they do. I think that's interesting to hear from different scientists, from journalists, from people like me who run TV shows, and just to find out why they're interested in the subject that they're interested in. Submarine paint dries by uh, chemistry, so you don't need air or light, so it's a chemical reaction. And what you do is you paint like hell, you really, really go for it, and you paint an enormous big section, and then you have to wait for that to dry. You do literally watch paint dry. We've heard so many great things tonight, everything from painting nuclear submarines through to travelling through Africa. The audience response has been amazing and we're looking forward to the next episode. We're basically storytellers who happen to be very, very interested in the scientific world. If you tell people stories, they want to know more. Everybody's interested in a story. That's my story. <laughs> <laughs>